Had what I want to do, but uh, today, as the title suggests, we are going to a mushroom island. We're going to find one. Um, I have an idea of one where, where one might be, just in general. Um, there's a couple of places that we can check for them, um, but I also want to do a couple of things in regards to that because, because, because we, um, because we're going to a mushroom island. Um, I believe if I feed... Oh, wait. Okay. Maybe that won't happen. I forgot. I don't know how we would be able... We, we, we're going to be able to get a mushroom back here. I don't know if we even can if we really wanted to try to do that. But I'm just taking inventory here because what I want to do... Ah, no. There's a way we can do it. Um, what I want to do is if we somehow come across oh goodness we probably won't even do that and if we somehow come across a thunderstorm i would like to do one thing and one specific thing and one thing specifically and that is to make it so we get a brown mushroom at least i believe we can do that I don't know how long we're going to spend on that, 
on that island. But we may set it up so that it does at least do what it's supposed to. Because there's a very rare occurrence when we do find this island that I would very much like to continue to do. Um, so we're going to spend the first couple of minutes here doing that. But also, um, I'm going to need a good couple of things. Namely some flowers. So we might go around and do some of that too. Oh, we do also, I, I think... So funny enough, um, if you guys are just joining us, or if you're just joining us, um, we are currently trying to go for... Where is it? <clears throat> I believe it's under adventuring time. Um, or no, that, that, that is the actual advance, adventure time. As you can see, we only have four biomes left. Um, I still, I have a list of them generally here. Um, I believe that it should be the one spot where Haverly really Hills, the mushroom fields, which we're going to today, uh, the wooded badlands, which I believe is something we haven't visited, but I'm not sure. Um, the deep lukewarm ocean and then the deep dark. Um, and Deep Dark is probably going to be saved for a very special instance because I still have not been there and I'm very afraid to go there. Um, <clears throat> and we will, we will go there eventually, but there is um, a bunch of other things that I have to do instead of that. Hang on, I need water. Ooh. <clears throat> or rather, a bunch of things that we have to prepare before we end up going to the Deep Dark. <clears throat> Ugh, my, my voice is just... I love how I had cheese for... <coughs> mm, sorry, these are not attractive noises. The point being, um, I don't want to go to the deep dark yet. Not quite yet. I was supposed to go there for Halloween, but things happened. Things really happened for me, so I didn't end up doing it. Ow, I just bit my tongue. Oh boy. The stream is going great, guys. Fantastic. Um... <clears throat> so, um, anyway, we're going for adventuring time. We have about four biomes that we haven't covered, but I, I have five on my list for some reason and I don't really know why. Um, so we're going to find out why, uh, which one we're missing. I, I believe we haven't been to, apparently we have been to a flower forest. Oh wait, yeah, we did go to a flower forest. Now that I think about it, I remember that. Um, I wonder if they ever took the coordinates of that. We did go to a power force last time, but we might want to visit that that specific one again because we might need some flowers that we don't have. And with flowers that we don't have, those are actually kind of useful. Now that is also to say, what a spider? What a spider? Is that a flatter? That's a that's a that's a spider. That's not a spider. <clears throat> that's not what I'm trying to say. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry guys. Ooh, I don't know what's happening to me. At least voice wise. Um, but I am gonna keep these bottle of enchanting on us just to make sure that our uh, what's it called are okay. Our wings and stuff are okay. As we're traveling here. Oh, we still have so much gunpowder. Speaking of rockets, that's that's a, that's an important thing to have. Rockets are very important to have. And what do we want to do? We wanted to make some nether rock or nether brick. Some nether brick um, fences. You know the ones that are found in the uh, the thing. The, uh, what's that thing called? The Nether Fortress. Because those will not actually burn. Or they're not supposed to. Unless there's a bug. But <laughs> I kind of doubt that. But I can tie them to fence posts. And like, if I should have enough leads to the point where if I want to find some red mushrooms. Yeah. I'll just bring like most of them with me. But maybe I shouldn't bring both of them, most of them with me. Maybe I should at least just bring about half of them. Actually, can I make more? I don't think I should. At least not at this point. I'm, um, you know, we are still mining out that 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 slime chunk down there. We'll figure out how to farm them in a future thing. But we are still mining out that that 
that slime chunk and I can't really do anything to make new leads with that slime chunk until we've established that one specifically. And we have plenty of, st of string options, I think. That's pretty much like the one thing that we're pretty good on, I would say. Um, either that or, uh, well, that and gunpowder. Like, we, we pretty much have unlimited string because we both have the, um, the general mob farm, which is, like, super efficient. And, uh, you know, once we get the slime farm going, we should be good to make as many leads as we want. So maybe we'll just kind of set up something um, general for first. And then... As we get along here, we will make a few more things that'll be helpful to us. And you know, this specific um, the specific mushroom biome is actually a lot closer than where we've been traveling before, so I'm imagining um, we should be fine. In theory, we should be fine. Um, I think I'm gonna go take my emeralds over to the village and give them. A few more just so I can get some more of these bottled enchanted. So I think that that's really going to be the most useful thing for us to do. Hmm. I don't know why I'm so congested. Maybe it's just like I am usually si I'm in I am sitting at a different spot than where I usually would be. So that is one thing to keep in mind. There's a zombie somewhere, but I don't know where the zombie is. It's probably like on my roof or something. I don't know. Is it? I'd be very surprised if it was. It's probably underground. Pig. I mean, it's been so long since I played Minecraft, like, honestly. <laughs> like, I haven't really been, like, doing that much Minecraft stuff lately. It's just all kind of been... Like, Splatoon came out and, like, my life was over. <laughs> Like, anything else I was doing did not matter. So I'm kind of just, like, out of... out of my brain for... Like, I have to, like, get my Minecraft brain back just so I can kind of function into doing a lot of other... a lot of the things that we've been doing before, so that's just kind of, like, a... a whole thing. I know, they... they... they, they titled 1.20, it's... What is it? It's trails, trails and tails, right? Trails and tails. I got that the right way around, and that's all new. And we all have that. That that's coming, which is good. Let me just just hydrate a little bit more. a little bit better there. <clears throat> Alright, so what does that do for us? Whoa. Oh, yeah, I know what, I know what version this is. <laughs> it's still a zombie. Where is the zombie? I don't know where the zombie is. I don't know where the zombie is. Anyway, um, what's it called? I feel like I'm still competing with this. That, that kind of surprised me a little bit. Okay, I feel like that's probably a little bit better. Okay. So, if we could... Please. I think this should... Oh wait, is this not how I make them anymore? Okay. If I get, like, a bunch of these, do I have to, like... Oh, you know what? I think I need to make two of them. And then it should be, like, this. Right? Or is it, like, the other way around? I definitely don't remember. I definitely don't remember. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. I remembered! Yay! I don't know if I already have- I don't have any other bricks in here, in here yet, but this will at least keep it from burning. So, if I stick a lightning rod 
on top of one of these and it strikes lightning, then we won't have the problem of trying to get, you know, a whole bunch of stuff that we don't, um, like, you know, like having to deal with a whole bunch of burning fences and stuff like that. So. Good to know. So. Right, so we're gonna head over to the cleric here and we're gonna just ask them to give us out a few more pieces of or a few more bottles of enchanting so that we can fly on our merry way over there i think that one thing I do want to try to do is if we can find that flower for us, it would be really helpful because um, then I can get every variant of flower and run around and find them. Um, because they give us different potion effects. We can get suspicious stew, sus stew, of basically anything we want as long as we have the right flower. Um, do I have this? I don't know. It's mine now. Um, let's see. Where are you? You are in here. The librarian. Oh, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Big preach, big preach. Okay, now that, that repaired my elytra. So I should be good to just kind of bounce out of here. Very gassy today. Like, ooh. Yes, heard that. Ugh. It's because, like, I'm telling you, it's because I'm kind of slightly lactose intolerant and also I had cheese I feel like that would have made me I don't even think that that would have been a bad thing it's just kind of like a a burp I, I want to I want to burp but it's just like it's not gonna actually happen Ugh. oh dang Going back to really old school Mario Party. <laughs> I think this is like what two, three, four. I don't know. I think this is two. I feel like I have a lot of good memories of Mario Party two specifically. It's probably why I enjoy Mario Party Superstars. I just wish that they updated. I feel like I, I wanted to make like a, a short form. Of just things that I wish had DLC and didn't get DLC. Like, because I feel like that'd be a good video to make, just like, just to consider, like, <laughs> there's so many things that it's like, uh, we, you know, oh, we definitely had XYZ for this and we just didn't do anything about it. I also need to go back to the end at some point. I really need to go back to the end at some point. Um, I'm gonna- I'm actually gonna dye this pink if I can. Can I dye this pink? Do I have any dyes anywhere? Do I have any dyes anywhere? I have some. Do I have white? Do I have red? I think I haven't really dyed much of anything. Um. I only can make some red dye, I think. But it might be in here, too. Do I have any- you know what? No. No. I can remember correctly. And you know, I might be thinking of another world, but I feel like I had some- a die chest somewhere. Oh, that's a cool chest. I didn't know I had- I didn't know I had a cold chest, but I have a gold chest now. I think that's supposed to be like more minerals or something. Alright, no die chest. No problem. Now that we have access to a- oh, what's it called? We should be fine to do that, but I do want to probably just dye this pink so I know that it is for- the flowers, the flowers, because uh, well, I can actually just take this one outside and just uh, bowl meal it a bunch and then it'll give me, it won't give you pink, it'll give me, I think it'll give me like purple, maybe it will give me pink, hang on, I don't remember. Now we took back a, uh, 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 what's it called, me too, there we go, alright, magenta. Um, not what I wanted. Can I make... Can I make... No. 
Okay, I tried. Wait, actually, I need another one of those. Um, can you give me one? Yes, thank you. We also need to put that in the thing. I also need to, uh, go nail this. And get, like, two more of these. And two or three more of these, and then I have... Infinite of those, too. Thanks, Mob Farm. Big Preach. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm looking at this and I'm not seeing any more flowers. That I don't only have two of. So, there's that. Oh dang. I haven't heard this in a minute either. I'm gonna put the bone meal in here because I feel like that's probably gonna be helpful to us. Um, since we don't have a die chest, I'm gonna make a die chest. Take one of these, one of, one of these, my uh, my die chest. I feel like it's it's this one. This one feels right. This one feels right for being the die chest. We can make a couple more dies by doing a couple by picking a couple of things that we already have in the the area. But it's fine. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's go around and just see what we can find that are... You! You killed my goat! You killed my goat! What the heck? You killed my goat. Why'd you kill my goat? Man! You killed my goat! I'm unhappy about that. I'm unhappy about that. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't actually know if he killed my goat or not. Um, but I'm pretty sure he did, because, like, what else did I do with it? Nothing. Okay, well, we have this dandelion. I could just bone meal around a couple places and just figure out if it's around here somewhere. What's around? Yeah, I don't have this. I don't have one of those, but it's fine. That's what I was looking for. Cornflower I'm also kind of looking for because I believe that that is another status effect. Not entirely sure though. Can get them though in this biome, but it'll at least, you know, kind of get us certain things but not others. Is there bullets? Another oxide daisy. Okay. Let's go take a nap. Since we're here, since we don't have to worry too hard about, you know, being too far away. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened to the goat. Maybe the goat suffocated. It's probably possible that the goat suffocated. He just wasn't paying attention. We didn't even find out what horns it had. Okay. Let's see. Do you have anything? No, I didn't. Wheat seeds. Did have some wheat seeds there. That's good. All right, I think we I think we better fly. I think we better start getting start getting to flying here, because I feel like overall 
that is what's going to end up happening for us. that we want to probably get up north here and we'll find flowers along the way right I feel like that'll be a good thing for us so eventually we'll just have to have another journey Unless there's a meadow on the side of here, in which case we get some more stuff. So, actually, there isn't really much here, is it? Just dandelions. Okay. Dandelions is our bullets. Okay, fine. We'll continue on this way then. I believe we should come across. Not quite this. But another ocean that's quite vast. But also, I really hate that it doesn't load like this. I really hate that. I really hate when that happens. Um, okay. Let's see, I have a blue cornflower here. Get a couple of these. Oop. Okay. Two. The tree looked very, looked like not a thing, but that I was just like, there, there's no, there's nothing like that in Minecraft. I hope, hope they don't have anything like that in Minecraft. Like, what if they give like, they made like more, like warden-like enemies to Minecraft where it was like, there was even more of them. Like it, it could just ha happen in random places. Like, I would not enjoy that at all. Okay. Alright, so I think we can find- we can search around this ocean. We also still, um, haven't been to a, um, oh, what's it called, island? Or not a what's it called an ocean monument in this world. I think that's still something we haven't quite done. But we're gonna look around on this this oceans here and see if we see anything. If not then I will continue up north a little bit more and then find another ocean and then search that one. I think we just need to follow our path here, but we're going to be generating new terrain, which is kind of our whole shtick here. Or at least our one little bit of trouble here. You're turning into river, but there's a... You know, there's a village here. So we'll pit stop here, just very slightly. Okay. Not super much to worry about. Just like, did they start using deep sleep for the foundation now? That'd be funny. No, that's not the case. Thought it was the case, but it didn't look like it. It looked like it for a second, but it's not the case. Well. There's an enderman down there. Don't want to look at him. There's a zombie trying to get. At, is this zombie really trying to get at me here from here? Oh, you're so you're so smart. You're so smart. I don't know how you can pathfind to me, but um, you're gonna burn before you figure it out. Okay. This is not where we want to be, so we will continue on. But yeah, keeping in mind, I really, I really don't know exactly where the mushroom biome is. I just know that it was north, in which we are pretty north from where we, you know, from 
where we were. So like, for example, if I land here and then do, um, do the F3 screen here, you know, we're facing south. So I, know, I believe it's in this ocean. If it's not in this ocean, that's totally fine. I just need to probably go a little bit further afield. Wouldn't it be cool if there was like this island, which is a really cool little island here. It's a, it's a ravine beach here. It's pretty neat. No. Not very classic Smash Force music here. <coughs> Let's see here. It's possible that there might be a section or two here that is this kind of you know goes off into another area. Might be more ocean to explore here. In fact, I probably should try to go up this way and just see if this is more you know. Just a really big lake and ocean, or if it is actually something else I should investigate here. Mm, that looks like a river, so I'm thinking I'm going to turn around. My ledge, we're doing 337 or 432. We're doing good. We're doing perfectly fine. If I'm going to compete. Oh, also, I feel like I'm competing with the music just ever so slightly. But. Oh, I don't want to turn it all the way down. Also, where am I? Okay. <laughs> Actually, also, let me just, uh... It kind of messed me up a lot, so... Alright. I already hit myself, and I should be fine. Oh, wait. Do I have these flowers yet? Or do I have the roses yet? Because I feel like I don't have the roses yet. So, you see it? Grab it pretty much is how I'm playing it right now. But I'm still in fly mode. Give me that. Thank you! Next, give me like... Okay, I really need to take this then. I'll place it back down. There we go. Now the big thing I really need to keep in mind here. Now we have unlimited red dye. Um, so we have unlimited yellow, unlimited magenta. I think there's only the peonies left out of these four like double tall flowers and then basically you can just build mail those forever and then we'll never have to worry about those dyes ever again which is fantastic. And however we are still missing a good couple of flowers because we have we didn't really particularly read that flower forest biome. Or like, you know, go picking those. But this is not a mushroom biome. So we are going to go ahead and continue. Oh, there's a bee. Um, okay. They should probably be flying a little bit closer to the middle of the ocean because that's kind of where they're going to end up, but I do want to at least load like the perimeter of the ocean before continuing on because that'll at least help us along at least a little bit more, I feel like. Now, the funny thing about mushroom fields is that actually it does not have to be an island, it's just most commonly an island. And I think that's something where a lot of people can get tripped up, is that they'll see it and think, oh, I have to be looking for an island. Not necessarily, because sometimes they can just kind of be a, a little peninsula 
And then once you find it that way, then usually um, you'll get all of your bearings right. Then usually, you know, you can just find it that way too. Um, it's just more commonly an island. So don't be surprised if, you know, you're looking in your world and you're like, hey, wait a minute, this is a peninsula. Nope. Can be found. It can indeed be found. So it just came from over there. I um, need to follow the water back out to see. I think I came from this direction. I think I came from this direction. If I'm remembering right. Hmm. Alright, yeah, I think we do need to just start to go directly into the ocean. I think I'm trying in the right direction here. Oh wait. I found it. Found the mushroom I have I found the well, I found the flower fields one. At least. Again, I, I did not need to take that. But I did anyway. Um, I do need to take this, this, and this, and three of these two. And I'm not gonna take. I'm only gonna take two of those because there's only like five of them here. In fact, I could probably just bone the other ground and get more, right? Yep. Okay. So. How flower forest biomes work is that actually like the the where the flowers are is actually seeded itself. So for example, um, I can bone meal around here and well, I will always get orange roses or like orange tulips. And this will follow this line up until here. Hey look guys, it's your favorite song. Time in the Breath of the Wild playlist. Still have not played this this mini gaming game. I don't know. We might play it on Sunday session. Um, it depends on how tired I'm feeling and how much time um, we're gonna have. I still like don't have registered that I have a con this weekend. Well, I have, but I'm also like I'm kind of only by like force by like brute force have I realized that I have a con this weekend, and I really <laughs> kind of don't want to go to the con. But that's beside the point. Um, it's just a con that I kind of had a not great experience at, and. Um, you know, that, 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 that brings down everything. But essentially, um, I can just kind of keep bone mealing this area and eventually I'll get more white tulips and stuff. It's all, it's pretty much all seeded, um, where the flowers can spawn and where they're supposed to spawn. Like that's already like established. That's, you know, that comes pre-established in the, the biome generation. So that's, that's neat. That's why you can see people make like giant massive flower farms and just that just kind of cover wide areas because they're really useful for that. So what we could do is that the um, for example um, the the nether um, what's it called thing that we have in our um, what's it called like the nether the nether plant thing that we have in our in our base um, could we repurpose here for getting all the various flowers and so we will eventually do that i feel like that's a good farm build that we can eventually do oh pink to i don't think i've seen that before okay but they are found here we need to find them that way but yeah Uh, but yeah, they're essentially seeded like this, and you can just kind of keep growing them this way. Um, but we have three of those now, so we are good with that. Um, but they'll perma- so like this, essentially, like this area will permanently um, grow the orange tulips, this area will grow the white ones, this area will grow the pink ones, and so on and so forth until it, you know, it's pretty much full. Or just not full, but like, you know, it makes- applicable sense. How many pink tulips do we have? We have two. All right, now we have four. Put this down and keep going. 
Continue on our merry way. I think. I think that there are a couple more flowers here that I can't really get otherwise. So I'm gonna just take a browse around just to take four. Hello, cow. Hope you're doing well. Okay, some foreign flowers. Uh, these things. Jacob's letters. These are also something I have, but I didn't have enough of, so it's fine. It's fine for us to grab it now. So we have white tulips. We have three. There's, so we got all four tulips. And the azure bullets we've already collected. I don't think I've collected every flower. It's hard to say. It's always hard to say. And as far as I'm looking around, it looks like we've collected most of them. But yeah, so essentially we want to collect these because when we do come across the Mushroom Island, what we want to do is we want to make sure we have... We can feed... I believe we can feed a specific... I don't know if it's the red ones or the brown ones, but we can feed a Mushroom a, a flower and they will, for a short amount of time, give us... give us suspicious stew depending on and the suspicious stew is dependent on what flower we give them which is a fun little thing and it's a little fun incentive to try to um farm these and find you know find a flower forest and farm these as we need to okay i wonder what's here oh pink tulips again okay Hmm. <laughs> trying to think. Um, I'm starting to think that there isn't any other flowers, and that we have them all. Surprisingly. Um. Well, you know what? Let me. I can double check really quick. I think. Okay, let's let's see here. I feel like I should probably try to get up by so that things don't actually hurt me. But I don't know. This isn't very high. Let's see here. Flowers. So we have the dandelion. I'm probably looking this up. Um, so we have the dandelion, the poppy, the blue orchid. Which we only have one up right now. Ah, oh, the allium. Right, that, that was also in our thing. The allium. As your bullet. Um, the tulip variants. Um, the oxide daisy. The cornflower. Um, the lily of the valley, or the Jacob's ladder, and then um, the torch flower, which is not out yet. Um, so we have most of them except for the Allium. Um, I think we should be able to find the Allium in this biome if we just look hard enough. Um, but that's the key thing is looking hard enough. Oh gosh, I didn't mean to. Did I change the size too much? No, I didn't. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was worried I did for a second there. Okay. Continuing on. Let's see if we can find that allium. I'm pretty sure it should be around here. If not, if it's not around here, oh gosh, ooh, 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 ooh. creeper. No, oh, thank you. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, they're also found. Um, they're also found in uh, where's the area? The uh, the metal biomes as well. And that's how I got the ones that I had, but um. Of course, bone mealing for them is no problem. Oh, I was just like punching the block. 
Not where I thought it was. bed but we just started streaming so i'm gonna probably keep going for a little bit longer then i'll probably fall asleep because i'm actually quite tired the uh, sun is going down and it's been raining all day because of course it has ba -ba -ba. Oh, did i help my first alley i did i did i did Uh, yay. Okay, it's sleep time. Hopefully that means that the rain goes away for a little bit longer. Okay. I think that the bees will appreciate us giving them a few more flowers to pollen a few more flowers to pollinate. Hmm. Pardon me. Uh, okay. There we go. Alright, but nice to know we have everything. We can just kind of keep it moving here. Alright, let's get back in the air. Um, okay, where are we? I need to go this way. I don't think this is where we were before, but there's a lot of flower forest biomes over here. Hmm. Interesting. I am also quite lost. I think I got turned around back there, but it is okay. I think eventually we'll find our way back to an ocean. I think that might be... no. It's not over here. We just have really, really deep rivers now that kind of look like oceans, but we're not actually sure. I'm pretty sure this is a lake. And I've probably gone in a big circle again. That's okay. Oh boy. What is this rock formation? Goodness gracious. I gotta love Minecraft's weird. What's it called here? Weird generation. I feel like that's kind of like a little silly thing. Some forest edge over there. How far north are we? Um, pretty far north, actually. Okay, well, this looks like a pretty big ocean here. So maybe I'll find it here. I'm gonna just continue to go around here until we find something. I feel like that's probably kind of the best course of action at this point. Just kind of... What we'll do is we'll just kind of fly coast to coast here. Wow. Dang. 12 hour flight and just like 4 hour flight. I mean I should say 4 hour flight into just like a couple of minutes. Goodness. Lights are sure are efficient. Or not really. It's like... I don't know. This is, you know, a good amount of meters. You know what's so funny? It's just that the fact that Minecraft as a game produces these massive like 
1 million block worlds, but they're really not that big because that's like only really like a couple of kilometers, I think. So realistically, we're kind of like not really, you know, traveling that much, but it's also, it's also just a little fun thing to think about. How big it really is a Minecraft world? I think it's like 3 million blocks in each direction that you can go, so that would make... And like each block is 1 meter, so that's 3 million meters. Um, and then there's like, you know, a thousand... So that's like 3... Hang on. I'm gonna do some quick maths here. I think that should only be like... 3,000 kilometers, I think. In each direction. I feel like that's not much, but... Oh, hey, we've been here before, so maybe I believe that if I keep going this way, the one I saw on my map might appear. Okay, but we know generally where we are, so I feel like we're good to kind of just keep going here. At least I think. I don't think that that's really going to be a huge deal for us to just kind of glide along here. Coast to coast, as we said we were doing. Come on. You can load in. Totes do it. Ugh. What a tease here. That little bit of dark, dark oak ocean, uh, that dark oak woods. Just like. Make me think I have. I have a mushroom island and I don't. It's just. Just the mushroom islands. It's playing tricks on me. As they do. It's it's really quite ironic, isn't it? ocean I feel like there probably should be at some point please don't let me face bomb into a mountain that'd be really bad I would appreciate you not doing that thank you thank you thank you okay oh I'm very we're getting there hoping we get there soon at least Ten is definitely pushing it. Ooh. What if I totally missed it, guys? What if it's behind me and I just didn't bother to look behind me? Uh. Me looking at this like, wait a minute. Almost certain that that was one, but nope, there was just a a bunch of other things. Or not a bunch of like it was just like a rock one, not actually a mushroom island one. I'd have preferred if you were a mushroom island, my friend, but you are not. Sadly. It sure looks like one. I 
Okay, no. Still looking. It's getting to nighttime, actually. We do kind of have to be a little bit careful. I feel like there's one, but it's just very, 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 very small. And so, like, when we fly past, we kind of miss it because we're not looking in the right spot. At least it feels like it. <sighs> okay, well, we're gonna plop down here and just uh, take a nappy so that we don't spawn any more mobs that we need to. So we will spawn them, and I don't like dealing with creepers or anything else. Not something I can say I enjoy. Okay, I think I'm going to cheat just because I want to just make sure I'm in the right spot. I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait, maybe I'm too... Maybe I'm too far north. I can't tell. Where am I? <laughs> Literally, where am I? Oh, okay. No, I'm not that far north. Do I have to go even further north? Oh, maybe. You know what? Yeah. Okay. Might need to go a little further north here. Which would actually make some applicable sense, actually. So let's let's see what we can do here. It's it's area that we've loaded before. So with that in mind, we can probably just kind of keep it, keep it going here. Yeah, all right. That's that's about where I thought I was. Um. Okay, we're facing left and we're facing left, south, north. Okay. Loading mode. Pull it up. In fact, we could go this way. We do want to go west a little bit, but then we, we do want to kind of keep going north. Okay. There's an island. Well, there's a. What's it called here? Oh, I feel. Yeah, I've definitely been here before. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good to know that I've actually been here before because I feel like that's actually going to be somewhat helpful to us. And if we find another ocean up this way, I believe we should probably end up being fine. I don't think that this is it. I think this is just a really big lake. We can probably follow this to an ocean, but I feel like we should probably take the, the left fork if we're going to do anything.
Maybe I still haven't like smacked my face anywhere. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, uh, that's a... Uh, I'm gonna be flying right into a pillar of drought post if I'm not careful. Goodness gracious. I really like for the world to load. I feel like that'd be a little bit helpful to me. I'm heading south. I don't want to be heading south. Where am I going? North. I'm going to go north. Right, and then I believe that this should be ocean. I believe in this ocean should be a teeny tiny little mushroom forest and mushroom fields biome at some point. Oh, it's still icy over here. Uh, right, I hope I didn't go too far over. Now, I do want to just preface, I have loaded this chunk before. I have loaded this chunk before because I know, like, when I went to my chunk cleanup just to see what I discovered and what I hadn't, um, it was something that I went and realized that I had already um, loaded the chunk before. So this is the only reason I'm actually, um, you know, coming here this way. Or, like, coming this way just to kind of see if I can find what I was already loading in. Otherwise, I probably would not have looked at chunk base to figure out where this is. But I feel like we're also in an area where potentially haven't exactly been before. Where am I? Literally, where am I? <laughs> Okay, maybe I do need to... I, I think I headed a little too far west, I think. Okay, again, I'm not, like, tracking my live location. I have found tools that let me, like, literally have a mini-map, essentially, while I have... while I play the game, which is very interesting, but... I think I did... go a little bit too far... east. Oh, that's south, yeah, okay. So if I'm right... If I'm right, this should be the way that I get to where I'm going, or where I need to go here. Okay. I also have to have enough rockets to get back, I'm hoping, and- oh gosh! Uh, uh, no, 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 we gotta stop, we gotta stop, we gotta stop, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. We have to stop. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay, perfect. Just leave that just in case we have a major emergency. Just in case.
Okay, I think we went a little too far east here. <laughs> or too far west here. I think we overdid it a little bit. for now. Help me. I think we're finally out of like not being so what's it? Oh. Ah ha 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 yay. We found it. Lovely. Ow. And just before the night falls. Right, uh, first, I'm gonna uh, take care of that so I know where I am. And then we are gonna go ahead and. We did it with the power of Rainbow Road. <laughs> um, okay, let's go ahead. It's a mushroom! These are my favorite mobs. They're so, like, oh. cute looking. Some of them. I, I know some people think they look really creepy, but I, I like them. They're. They're, they're fun. Mm. They're just fun. Like, it's just like, they don't need to exist, but they're fun. And that's what's great about them. <laughs> that's great. That's what's great about them. I love them like that. It's great. And then there's also the fact that no mobs spawn here other than these guys. And of course, uh, phantoms, because phantoms uh, do things or have mechanics that are outside of um, what regular mob spawning is like. So this is fun. We have this little island here. Uh, and I am going to sleep anyway because it's uh, it's a little bit more fun in the daytime. But yep, we have this grand mycelium island. It is here. And we are probably going to set up a little bit of a lab here. Because we need to get these guys... Named. Or not named, but... Well, actually, you probably should name some of them. But we need to get these guys tamed up or tied up so that we can um, do something rather special with them. Um, and they also can reproduce the same, you know, as other things. They just uh, take wheat, wheat, and then we just kind of make them that way. Okay, I think, I think if I put lightning rod right here should allow for them to be become more yeah, I believe that if as long as they're like kind of close together I think I probably need to make them a little bit closer together um, but this lightning should strike them and then they will turn brown and then but they're very rare. It's very, it's like a very rare chance that'll do that. So what I'm hoping is that the lightning rod will be there, and then it'll strike them, and then it'll turn, it'll turn brown, and then they'll transform. They're one of the few mobs that you can strike lightning with, and then they will actually change the form that they are in. Um, however, you can't really survive on a mushroom island by yourself because um, you need wool. To make wool, you would need either a spider or a sheep, and there are no sheep that produce there's no like wool producing sheep on this island so um you might have to go fishing for it you could probably go fishing for it but then you would have to find sticks and finding sticks would involve either going underground to find wooden planks um among other things so it's very unlike that but we're here we're on a mushroom island which is really funny i don't know um i don't have any wood on me at all like at all at all so that's actually not something that's super great. Um, but we can breed them for XP if we had any wheat. 
Um, we do have plenty of wheat at home, as we know. Um, so we might, you know, we'll, we'll, we will be back here to do many other things, including breeding up those ones that we turn brown. Um, but for now, we have found it. We have found the thing we were looking for. And uh, actually, I think I want to get to a better spot here. Let's take the screenshot. Um, ow. <laughs> so we do have some coal down here, though. So that's that's something. We do have some caves down here. Also, caves down here will also not spawn mobs. Um, as long as it's within the 3D biome. Like now we do have like multiple layered biomes, so that could also be a fun thing that we could potentially do. I also feel like my music has run out because that's just how things work. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with the no thoughts head empty. Because we can. Okay. Uh, where are you going to take us? Up there. Up on that hill. There we go. And we have done that. Well, actually, no, we haven't done that because I forgot to take off my hood. There we go. All right, guys, we've done it. Um, and now we're like 5,000 blocks from home. Yeah, where is where are the coordinates of this? It's like 258,000. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. I feel like we should hang out here a little bit more, but I, I probably will need some more, you know, what's it called materials because we definitely need. If, I think if I were to boat out here. I would probably be able to find some more wood, but, you know, it's basically like hope that there's a shipwreck nearby, all of that, and then we'll, you know, eventually we'll be able to do everything. You know, we'll be able to do some more things. The good thing also to know is that if you do come here, mobs still don't spawn, but also the grass um, is like a really big green color. It's like a really bright green color. And, like, it's very sought after for that reason. So people sometimes just replace the mycelium all with, um, with grass, just so that it's a really bright green. I feel like it's really comparable to the jungle, to the jungle biome green, but I could be wrong about that. I don't know. That's, that's just kind of personally how I feel about it. Um, no, we do not have a silk touch anything, do we? No. Is our, no, our axe doesn't even silk touch. Huh. Okay. That's fine. It's a fun little thing, though. Just want to make sure we're nice in here. I feel like, uh, but you know, what, uh, by the you know, now that we're, you know, now that we've found our, we've reached our goal. We do have to make our way back, but I do want to see if he's alive still. We can probably throw a line too, potentially. Um, okay. It's funny because I could say we haven't raided Yuki in a while, but actually, um, you know, Yuki just kind of got back from the same vacation that I had, more or less. So, potentially, potentially, what is she doing? Um, oh, um, okay, uh, I, I think I know what she's trying to do. Uh, she's trying to learn how to fly with Elytra. Okay, that's, that's good. What is Suki doing on the other side? Other side of things, on the vast other side of things. Um, looks like more Overwatch. Hmm. Just weighing my options here. Hmm. I think I might just give you guys more Minecraft. It's not like we're not, you know, doing anything else. But again, 
do have to I do have to get back up there. Okay. All right. Well, let's get back. Let's get back to the island. Um, here's base and south. Okay. South. It's pretty much we want to be like south, south, southwest. Yeah. Here. Uh, I feel like we're kind of going a little too southwest. We need to go south southwest, which will eventually lead us back to home. Now we're pretty much in line to go home, so I'm not even worried. All right, and up we go. to crash into this tree but I don't I don't crash into the tree and you know what we also need to do at some point we need to um, breed some more frogs because we don't have what well, we don't have the one thing we do not have or the one um, frog breed that we do not have is the So what's it called? The tropical one. That's the one that we don't exactly have. And I would like it because we, we really want to also build a frog light farm at some point. So something we need to do. Please do not whack me in the face, please. I would prefer you, I would prefer not to be whacked in the face. I really prefer not to be whacked in the face. Also, that hole goes all the way down, which is really crazy. Uh. We could fly down there, but we. I, I don't fancy going caving for a while. boost because it does seem like we're kind of losing altitude here. I think the trick is to try to stay between the 35 and 35 angles. That's the trick. Just to kind of get it up here. Getting back home. I'm getting back home at a reasonable rate. Oh boy. Look when I can't see anything. I actually think I'm gonna just flatten out for now. Because I feel like I might just end up running into things. There we go. In fact, uh, let's slip, please. Um, we're heading actually negative west, which we don't want to do. No. Because that's not my village. directly up and see. Load in a little bit. Sometimes sometimes it just kind of gets a little It's like can you can you load please? I would like if you would load the world around me so that I know that I am in the correct direction. This also might be new. Completely new honestly. All things considered. There we go. 
go. Okay, oh, there's so many rock formations down there. It seems like. Really hate when the chunks don't load because that means that I can't really see anything here. Like that. Like how in the heck was I supposed to know that was there? How was I supposed to know that was there either? Oh my goodness. Please. Please load. Please load. I would really love it if you load. Alright, well we're back in our neighborhood, I believe. That's 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 a mountain. That is a mountain. That is our mountain, actually. That's one of the mountains that we Yeah, there we go. Yep, our little birch forest mountain or not a birch forest. What is this? A spruce forest mountain? I think. Okay. Okay, I think they were nearby. This is our cliff face. As long as we don't. Yep, 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 yep. Cool, cool, cool. We are here. And we have discovered the Mushroom Island, so we have taken out a good couple of things. Do I have anything that I need to really put away? Um, we have the Blue Orchid, but I haven't actually gotten... But the funny thing is, we were actually very close to a swamp anyway, so it didn't really matter. It's fine. Um, guys, thank you for coming by. I appreciate the little, this little time that we had together. It only took us about ten minutes to get home, but we spent like, what? An hour trying to find the land anyway. Oh well. As is per usual for me. Um, but actually, can we uh, make some adjustments here? Because since we already know that we have so many tulips, probably move them down here because it makes more sense to do so. Now we have one of every tulip. Actually, I think, I think the orange tulip is what we're going to keep because that's the only one that's not any other specific color. Um, now, that, now, having all of these doesn't actually really help us that much because that does mean that we are, you know, missing a bunch. But we were able to mend our elytra, so it was actually kind of good to have these bottles of enchanting on us. Just, just in the off chance. Just, it's kind of just a break in case of emergency type of, type thing. I feel like that was probably pretty good. Um, so I think what I'm going to do on the end here is just kind of set the, the chest up for the next time we come by. Uh, so we have a lot of mangrove planks, but did we have a lot of mangrove wood? Pretty sure we did, really. Let's pack the mud. That's not what we need. We put this in here. I feel like it'll be a good thing to do, because we have, you know, what's it called? Forget. Forgot that quickly. I need to might need to AFK a little bit of at the uh, the mob farm in between sessions just to kind of get all of that um, extra XP from trading and stuff. It's potential. But the good thing is we don't need gunpowder ever, ever again. Almost it might actually end up being wasteful. Like, I think the only thing is really just the uh, the Elytra or Elytra kind of getting a little beat up where it usually would would and shouldn't. Wheat seeds. Oh yeah, we're gonna want to bring our wheat stash with us, or at least some of it, because those little those cows. They definitely, they definitely, you know. Definitely need that. I 
I feel like there was one more foot. Oh wait, the peony. Oh no, did we not get the? Did we not pick up the peony? Oh no. Um. You know what? We have a little bit of time, but we have. Do we have enough durability? We do. We just have enough. I have just enough durability. Dang it. I, mean, I think all we gotta do is just travel up north here again, but uh, I don't I don't feel like doubling back, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just like do some movements here. But we never actually got the peony. Goodness gracious, I didn't even realize that. Oh, too bad. This is how I farm chicken. Because they just kind of suffocate over it's a lot of it's a lot of chickens in there chickens are self-generating it's like they they divide they just like commit um they just uh do uh mitosis but instead of like there being a second chicken immediately there's an egg so, do I feel bad about this specifically? My answer is no, because they self-multiply. Without having to fertilize anything, without having to be bred, they just, they just, they just exist. Like, look, I'm gonna push this baby in, right? And then, eventually they'll just kind of scramble around. But then one of them will just, like, for, because of entity cramming, will just suffocate. And then I'll have more stuff. It's crazy. It's like I, I don't need to do anything at all. <laughs> yeah, but we actually pull up on feathers here, which is a, actually not a bad thing at all. Okay. Um, so let's see. What do we have to do in between sessions here? Felt weird to do a Minecraft session again, but I also felt kind of right to do one. I feel like this is a really easy stream for me um, because usually, um, especially on a con weekend, like I feel like I kind of just don't have time to do something and that means I don't have to bother with the capture card or anything like that. I just kind of can go up here and just add what I need to and then start to go streaming and just, you know, start to, you know, get streamed together and that's good. Um, but either way, I appreciate you guys being by. Um, we're going to go ahead and... I think we are going to go ahead and raid Yuki if she's still alive or is not trying to raid me because I'm pretty sure she probably is considering that. Um, not going to do that. I'm going. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. I will go ahead and leave you guys with Yuki. Um, I will still be back. We're, we're still going to play Breath of the Wild on Sunday. Don't you worry. Um, it's just... Not something that I'm going to do right at the moment, because I definitely don't, um, you know, like, it's just, you know, not going to, it's probably going to be, I'm hoping that I don't have to cancel is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, I just kind of ramble on about that. It's not going to be this, this, why not? Why do I say that? I don't know. I need to be a little bit more self-aware when I say things like, sometimes I do that at work too. It's really annoying. Anyway, um, appreciate you guys. I will be back on Sunday, uh, for... Breath of the Wild. Um, we have a special thing in store, and um, I hope that that was really exciting to you guys because we're going to be going to get the Master Sword. Uh, don't know when I'm going to be back in Minecraft, but we will see. And I um, appreciate you guys being here for again. And then I will see you guys on Sunday after I'm exhausted from Con for reasons. I just wanted to stream, guys. I, I don't even really, you know, I just I just really wanted to make sure that we're caught up. Especially because I'll be back pretty early and it's a close by con. Okay. Bye.